If you've played a lot of ping pong in your days and you're just now moving to pickleball, I have the perfect paddle for you. It's gonna make you more comfortable and you're gonna start hitting some better shots with it if you like that ping pong feel. And if this doesn't sound like it's for you, but you hit a one-handed backhand in pickleball, stick around till the end of the video. First, we're gonna talk about four reasons that we like ping pong paddles. Number one is that the ping pong paddles are light. They're easy on the wrist. You can flick backhands, you can flick forehands, you can have your fingers on the side of the paddle. You understand that the, the ping pong paddles just maneuver very, very easily because they're so light. The second thing is the short handle of the ping pong paddles. This makes it easy to, to snap around and also to get a good grip on. You only use one hand in ping pong and most people are only using one hand in pickleball as well. And the short handle just gives you more of a mechanical advantage. So that's something if you're accustomed to ping pong, you wanna look for in a pickleball paddle. The third thing is the maneuverability. You need to be able to move around quickly, move the paddle around, get your backhand ready, get your forehand ready. So maneuvering the paddle around is very, very important. You don't wanna feel like you're trying to hit the ball with a 10 pound dumbbell. So we want a shorter handle. We want something that's very maneuverable very easy to play with at the net. The final thing that is nice about ping pong paddles is just your awareness. So there's a short handle, so you're aware of where your hand's gonna be placed on the paddle. You have a consistent grip. You're just very aware of where that tiny ping pong paddle is at at all times. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have that during your pickleball game? So let's talk about the problems maybe you guys are experiencing about why the other paddles aren't cutting it. Maybe you can relate. The first thing is the handles are too long. If you're not using a two-handed backhand at all in pickleball and you are dead set on using a one-handed backhand, all that longer handle is going to do is just make that paddle slower. And maybe you guys have experienced some elbow pain, forearm pain right here. That's called tennis elbow. That can be from having a longer handle with a, a top-heavy paddle. Having a little bit of a shorter handle can help eliminate that. And the second thing, some of these paddles just feel like an oar that you would row with in a kayak. Yeah, they're too long, the face is too heavy, they don't feel right, and they're gonna cause you to hit the ball more inconsistently. And the third reason why some of these paddles aren't cutting it is they're just too dang heavy. It doesn't matter how fast you are, what kind of paddle you have, how good you are at the net, if your paddle, it feels too heavy in your hand specifically, you are not gonna play good. So what if you had a paddle that had a shorter handle, it was way more maneuverable, it was light, it was powerful, it was all of these things to give you that ping pong feel. Guys, it is the Selkirk Control Air, the Lux version, but it, this is the S2. So you can see down here that how short that handle is. And if you're looking for a ping pong style paddle, you're not gonna get any better than this. Let's talk about it. So we all know Selkirk has a great reputation in the game of pickleball. And someone finally made a version with a short handle, just like a ping pong paddle. So let me give you four reasons. Even if you're a beginner or you're, you're creeping up on the 5-0 level, wherever you're at, and you think maybe this might be the paddle, Paddle for you four reasons you're gonna love it number one this is the shortest handle out there and some benefits of that your grip is going to be more consistent it's always going to be in the same place in the paddle it just feels consistent when you pick this thing up you know you're in the right spot your hand feels right and the short handle really just helps you be able to whip this thing around and give you that ping pong feel the second reason of why you're going to love this paddle is shot selection when you have a paddle that is this easy to whip around and maneuver your your shot selection goes up you're going to have more feel on your dinks you're going to be able to hit better angles if you're using a one-handed backhand you're going to be more comfortable you can still generate the power with this i even put a little bit of lead tape on mine to increase the power but there is really no problem with the power putting overheads away with this thing still but the dinks you'll find yourself hitting and the angles and the shot selection is just improved in my opinion with this paddle with the shorter hand the third reason you're going to love this paddle is the net game like i said when you can maneuver a paddle around this quickly your net game improves especially at those chest height shoulder height balls that are launched at you really quickly and you have to get your paddle up there quickly i find it a much much easier to do with this paddle that's actually why i switched from the invicta which is the elongated shape to the s2 which is the shorter handle more ping pong style feel the invicta just felt a little bit like a oar of a, of a canoe and it just wasn't for me fourth reason you're gonna love this paddle is the backhand rolls this is probably my favorite part so in pickleball you hit a lot of backhand rolls like this over the net and with this short handle it literally feels like ping pong you can maneuver this thing around in your hand real quick flick a back hand roll just like you would in ping pong this paddle isn't super heavy so it's not super taxing on your wrist super taxing on your elbow it's just a perfect balance the backhand rolls are amazing it's probably one of the main reasons i would recommend this paddle even if you maybe are on the fence you're not sure if this paddle's for you let me give you five more reasons rapid fire reasons if you feel like you're slow quickness is huge with this shorter handle and this style of paddle if you use a one-handed backhand why not just have a shorter handle make the paddle more maneuverable the third is control this is the control air the 20 millimeter 
width, and this thing has more control than you're gonna find on the market. It's also a light paddle, but it has a lot of power. Also, the shorter handle gets you better leverage, so you're not gonna have as many cases of tennis elbow, especially if you're having some elbow problems while you play. Getting You're getting tennis elbow while you play pickleball. This is it. This is the paddle for you. This is what you need. Also, stop extending your wrist on your backhand like this. That'll help too. So for the final question, is this worth the money? Because this is gonna run you about $250. So it's really gotta improve your game. It's gotta make a difference. It's gotta make you more comfortable, right? So let's talk about if it's worth the money. So I came to this decision based off of these five categories that I think it's going to improve for you and make a big difference in your game and overall let you have more fun in the game of pickleball if you're doing better. The first one is the sweet spot. You're going to miss hit less balls because you're going to be more comfortable with the shorter handle and the Lux is a thick paddle. It's a 20 millimeter paddle. It is for control. So a thicker paddle, bigger sweet spot, less miss hits, happier player. The second thing is the shape. I don't really think you can get this shape with this shorter handle anywhere else other than Selkirk. I might be mistaken, but if you can, it's probably not going to be the quality that Selkirk has, and it's probably not going to have these other three aspects. The third thing is the texture. Maybe you can see it, but the texture on the Selkirk paddles is great, and I can tell you the texture lasts for a long time. So it's not something that you're going to have to keep reinvesting in. Um, it's, it's kind of a one-time purchase of $250, and then you're good to go. This will last you for a lot of play time. Eventually, you're going to want to switch it out, but that's with every paddle. The fourth thing is durability. Speaking of durability, this is my old S2 paddle from Selkirk, and this is the Power Air version. And if you look, you can see I have done some serious, serious damage to this thing. I can't even give you a number of how many hours of playtime or days of playtime. It has been destroyed. This grip has been changed about five times. The top of the paddle is literally chipped off from me scraping it off the ground, but you know what? It still works. It still works as a paddle. $250. I paid for this thing, and I haven't upgraded until just now into the Lux. I would not recommend anyone get the Power Air over the Lux. If you want the S2 version for this ping pong feel, get the Lux. But yeah, this thing, these things are about as durable as they come. And then the fifth and final reason I think it's worth the money is just overall comfort. If this seems like a paddle that might be right for you with the shorter grip, go for it. The comfort is gonna be there for you. You're gonna feel comfortable playing. It's a little bit lighter. It's gonna be comfortable in your body, especially your dominant swinging arm and elbow because of the shorter handle. And overall, if you're more comfortable with it and it's gonna last you a long time, you're gonna feel better and you're gonna play better. I think it's worth the investment. Thanks for joining in guys. Again, this is the Selkirk Control Air Lux, but this is the S2 version with the shorter handle. If you're a ping pong player and you've tried this paddle out, let me know in the comments what you think.